pray. Father, breathe upon your word today. Release fresh blessing upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Let grace to be doers of your word be released in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, before I continue to on this morning, please be seated. God bless you. In your homes, please be seated. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <coughs> Let me wish all the mothers all over the world. Let me wish you happy Mother's Day. Amen. For us in Austria, it is Mother's Day. And so we wish all mothers happy Mother's Day Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. As mothers, you will not fail, Amen. you will not fall, Amen. and you will not falter Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And for Living Spring members, both within and without, that is across Europe, God bless you. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Your joy shall be full. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to go straight into the word for today. Amen. Amen. Because I know some of you would like to go and celebrate. And perhaps your husbands, they are waiting for you to take you somewhere. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even though it is locked down. They can still take you somewhere. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 He can just take you to one water side so that you'll be looking at water. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's romantic, isn't it? Yes, Amen. So, I mean, you need to spend time basically with your husband and your wife. Hallelujah. Yes. And those of you who are still trusting God, it's your turn soon. Amen. In Jesus' name. Uh, today we'll be looking at the topic um, I call learning from Mother Sarah learning from Mother Sarah you know Sarah in the Bible right okay. want to learn from her praise the Lord and I want to share some few things with you that I believe it will bless our mothers. So it's a special day for mothers. And so um, I, 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 want, uh, I want to pull out some things by the grace of God that will bless you as a mother and as a potential mother. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Eve, Eve was the mother of the living. That's what the Bible says she was. They was she was mother of all the living but i noticed that god did not say we should look unto her amen. amen if you look at it in genesis genesis chapter 3 and verse 20 genesis chapter 3 and verse 20 and adam called his wife's name eve because she was the mother of all living amen, amen. because what yeah, she was the mother of all living. So all of you, 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 you are the children of Eve. Amen. 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 But the Lord did not say we should look unto you, unto, unto Eve. He didn't say so. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that you won't go and take a bad example and begin to listen to Satan. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I will be having discussion with Satan. I bring problem to the to the house. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please understand. I, I, I really want to mention this. It's very important. Motherhood, even though it's an experience, it is something you learn. You, you need to learn motherhood. You need to be taught motherhood. Otherwise, you will malfunction even though you are what they call mother. 
if you don't learn motherhood your children will cause you if you refuse to learn motherhood your children if you have children they they will be they will be susceptible to insulting you they will curse you because in proverbs chapter 20 and verse 20 proverbs chapter 20 and verse 20 the bible says who he said here say whoso cursed his father or his mother islam shall be put out in obscurity whosoever cursed praise god Whosoever cursed, so they can be cursed. Mothers can be cursed by whom? Praise the Lord. Your children will insult you if you don't learn how to be a mother now. If you just think that because you can get pregnant and have children, and therefore you are a mother, if you don't learn it, your children will wake up in the morning and say, "Mom, I think your head is not correct." It's just an opinion, especially in Europe. Praise God. I think, I think, mommy, I think it's screw is, <laughs> praise God, your children will not curse you. Amen. Listen, if you don't learn motherhood now, if you don't learn motherhood, for those who are aspiring, you may never experience what they call honor from children. If you don't engage the fact and the truth about biblical motherhood, honor may be far from you. You will not enjoy honor from your children, even if you kind of raised one. You know why? Because in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12, Exodus 20, 12, the Bible says, Honor thy father and thy mother. That the days may be long upon the earth, which uh, the Lord thy God giveth thee. So, honor thy father. So, children are supposed to honor, in this case, especially today, to honor their mother. I'm praying for you that in the name of Jesus, you will honor your mother. Amen. And as a mother, may you be honored. Amen. But you need to learn motherhood. You need to do it right so that you don't fail. Because instead of honor, shame can come. That shall not be you. But there is only one mother that I know, maybe there are others, in the scripture, that the Bible says we should look unto. Yes. Amen? And that's who? Sarah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 2. He said, look unto Abraham, who is your father? So today is not Father's Day, so I'm leaving that area. But then he said, and unto Sarah that bear you. Amen. Amen. So is the mother. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. So we should look unto Abraham, who is a father, and on, on to Sarah, who is a mother. So today we are looking at the mother. We are looking at Mother Sarah. Who are we looking at today? Yeah, we are looking at Mother Sarah. Who is the mother of us all? Amen. Amen. It's our mother. Now God said, God said about Sarah, he was talking about Sarah, after changing her name, yeah? And he interpreted her name to be mother of nation. Praise the Lord. When, when he changed her name, he interpreted it as mothers of nation. Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17, 15 to 16. Genesis 17, 15 to 16. And God said to Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. I will bless her. And give thee and give thee a son also of her. He said, Yea, I will bless her second time. And she shall be a what? Blessing. You are not reading with me. I want you to read this. But look, I told you, please read with me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, if we take it straight in the head, you know, praise the Lord. Yeah. What did I say we should read? 
where did i say genesis 17 15 and 16 and god said unto abraham as for sarai thy wife thou shalt not call her name sarai but sarah shall her name be and i will do what bless her and give thee a son also of her he said yea i will do what bless her and and she shall be a what a mother of nations look at the s of many nations mother of nations kings of people shall be of her somebody here a mother here that shall be your case Amen. kings will proceed from you Amen. princesses will produce from you Amen. in the name of jesus christ this is very important the bible says god said i will and when god emphasizes something twice it means he said i will bless her then he said yay i will bless her praise the lord i will bless her yay i will bless her i will bless her look definitely no argument no condition i will bless her i pray a double blessing upon you in the name of jesus christ and this mother's day a double blessing from god rest upon you in the name of jesus christ now listen look at it let's now look at um, let's look at go let me pick some few things about sarah and share with you it will bless you praise the lord now the first thing you want i want to share with you about sarah our sarah is that she was a very obedient mother amen, amen. number one she is or was a very obedient woman or mother to her husband hallelujah yeah. and this is very very important it is important to every woman that obedience becomes part of you especially you you that is not married you must be learning obedience now otherwise in marriage you will fail you that is married now you must obedience must be part of your motherhood you should not only be obeying you should be teaching it hallelujah your lifestyle should be teaching God's understanding of what obedience is. We live in a days where, you know, mothers or women to obey their husband. I mean, their husband is practically their mate. Praise the Lord. It's your mate. What is it? How many age? Just one year. What is it? We are actually mates. What is it? I mean, we know how we came to this Europe together. In fact, I helped him. Praise God. Just the man is just one another team, and the man cannot talk because we are in Europe. Praise the Lord. Amen. She was, and this is very important. Obedient, we're discussing on Sunday school. You know, one of us mentioned, and I'm going to dive in today. It's so important. The, the the reason why God will say we should look up to Sarah, you need to just keep searching. There are many. I'll give you a few today. Now in First Peter, in First Peter chapter three and verse six, I just pick verse six because I'm still going to touch many area. The Bible says, "Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, who did he obey? Abraham. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him what? Lord. We were asked in Sunday school. Oh, why is it difficult that some people want, can't call their husband Lord?" I'm not telling you to call him Lord. But you see, if you look at the scripture, well, you will understand why she called her husband Lord. Why do you think it was? Why? He's there now. Uh -uh. Obey. Ah, praise God. Obey. Let's stay inside scripture. You will see what it is there. She, she has dedicated her life to obeying her husband. So it wasn't a problem to call him Lord. 
I know a lot of uh, married, I have husband, I have children, I have this, I have that, but obedience. Praise God. That's why the man doesn't value you. That's why the man can only put you aside in decision making. That's why the man will not listen to you. you know what? Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. He said, whose daughter you are? You are her daughter. So, Abraham, Sarah is your mother. You are the daughter. Why won't you learn from her? As long as you do well and are not afraid with any amazement. Now, please understand. The issue of obedience is a personal revelation. Nobody will force you to do that one. That just to, I was telling you, I said, people think that when they say that one, oh, you are telling everybody, say, oh, I'm a slave, I'm the slave to this man. Oh. He is the one that is using me, he uses me until I live this life. It is not that one. What you are, what you are upgrading yourself above other ordinary women. It's a prestigious place to be. Spiritually prestigi prestigious. Praise the Lord. You don't have to. Call him... Boo. boo. Is it boo? Praise God. Call him... Boo. Boo. Abi. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Call him boo. It's okay. It's okay. It's boo. Yeah. Why not? Praise the Lord. He is boo. You are bae. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. So... <laughs> when you, you when you when you decide when he de when you decide to boo him he base you man what did i say yeah no problem but if you see another woman who decided to call his own lord why are you angry no what is your issue praise the lord why are you feeling uncomfortable why are you falling sick for somebody who is calling her husband Lord for God's sake? Why? Everybody say why? Why? Why are you judgmental over the woman that is calling her husband Lord? She is her choice. How is it your wahala? Why are you taking, how did you say that thing? Why are you taking Panador for an American? Why? Why? Why are you going to tell you oh, this one way they call her Lord? No, no, this guy, me, I know Sabi. What is your issue? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Obedience. Say it me, obedience. obedience. Listen to me. The Bible instructed for women to submit themselves to their husband. True or false? In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22, Ephesians 5 22, my Bible says, wives, which is the woman, the mother, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. You have submitted to the Lord and you have not submitted to the husband and you call yourself a Christian. What is your issue? Hallelujah. Yeah. The only time you want to submit to the man is, uh, you know, that uh, intimate period. Praise the Lord. Inside darkness. In the night. That's the only place you want to submit. Why can't you submit? As in submit. There are some people, they left their father's house, but they have still not submitted to their husband. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? They, they let they, their parents submitted them their daughter to the man, but when the woman got there, hey, come on, uh, that submission get uh, uh, so we know how we run things. Praise God, it is me and you that start the journey. I know my father has given me to you, uh, but um, I'm in charge here. Praise the Lord, <laughs> praise the Lord. What am I saying? You want to be that mother? You want to be, you want to have the gene. You want to have that thing in Sarah that God says you should look onto. You better understand that obedience it is. And you need to submit yourself in obedience to your husband. 
And if you have not married, learn it now. Just be be swimming in obedience so that when you get to that level of marriage, yeah, you will just it's just a mama life. Can I hear an amen? amen. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 18 said, Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as it is fit in the Lord. It is it makes you to be fit to be a, a, a child of God. As a woman of God, as a daughter of the most high God, you are fit spiritually when you submit yourself. A lot of people inside their marital home, they are not fit. They are there, but they are not fit. You know when somebody wears a cloth, a cloth that does not fit. You know how it looks like when you wear a suit and it's sagging. It's not the color. You know how it looks like. Even when it is expensive, if it is too big, the beauty is lost. Praise the Lord. It needs to fit. There are a lot of women Christians, plenty of them. They are not fit before God because of these things. Oh, I'm not saying they are not speaking in tongues. They are speaking in tongues. I'm not saying that they are not having title in church. They have it. Some of them are witches. Praise God. Amen. But if you can be fit, you know when you have stuff. You see, when a lot of women, you are losing your strength. You are you are losing the strength that you can use productively in your home when you don't know how to obey God. The Bible says the foolishness of God is wiser than men. There are some things God will tell you to do. When you do them, when you are doing it, it may not feel right. But it, God knows more than you. Praise God. By the time you begin to command some kind of authority, people will be wondering that how did you talk to your husband? How are you doing this thing? Praise God. Hallelujah. What am I saying today? Submit in obedience to your husband. How do you submit yourself to your husband? You submit by subjecting yourself under your husband. Not by your husband. Hello. Are you hearing me? You, you, how you do it is to subject yourself under your husband. Not by, you know, you know, you know, you ladies uh, be, beside every successful man is a woman it's not a problem praise the lord but when you see a woman who decides to stay under subject herself under her husband what's your problem i'm saying this because i i see some people they have a mindset that god does not relate with and they begin to wonder how come they are not enjoying some things praise the lord until you subject yourself under then you have not submitted yourself to the man first peter chapter 3 and verse 1 first peter chapter 3 and verse 1 say likewise ye wife be in subjection to your own husband that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation, the manner of life of the wives. Come on, say I hear. Yes, Your lifestyle is telling the world, the way you subject yourself under your husband is telling the world that I obey my own husband. I am not ashamed of obeying my own husband. If you don't like it, it is not your husband now. Hallelujah. It's my own. Glory be to God. It's my own. It's not, it's not our own. It's my own. I choose to do it like this. You see, it's because there are so many, many choices. That's why a lot of people misbehave. I look at uh, the extreme Muslim world. Where women don't have choice. Where you can be stoned on the spot. They dig you in the ground, leave only your head and stone you until you die when you mess up. Praise God. In that country, a woman cannot, you can't talk to your husband anyhow. You, are, you know you are, you know, beating is even allowed. Praise God. But because we are in the free world, we are in the free world, I have rights. I'm also a human being. We now make choice that we feel it is modern. Amen. Uh, is the is the raining thing is the in thing because of shakara and all that stuff no please if you want to enjoy marriage as god has ordered it 
if you want to enjoy it, you need to do what he says you should do. You need to subject. Can I hear an amen? amen. Look at Ephesians with me again. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 24. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 24. Ephesians 5 24. He said, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. How many things? I can't hear you. In everything. You have to be subjected. So it is not only at night. It's not only when everything is rosy. It's not only when the person brings you, um, you know, breakfast in bed. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. Not only when the present is coming. No, it's not only that time. In everything. Everything. Plus your salary, ma. Yes, sir. Do, I, do you hear me? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Plus your salary. Amen. Plus your salary. When you wear something, the man say, I don't like this one you are wearing. Can you wear that or that one? Eh, eh, please, this is the one that I feel like wearing because it's summer. Please, 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 please. Wait. Did I tell you to not want to uh, hold your side? Uh, uh, boo, pack. Praise God. I, no, pack well. Is that how you say it? That's how you say it, right? Is it? Boo, boo. Please, pack well. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And boo too. Boo too, we do what? Pack well. We pack well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. I can't be that kind of husband. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says, therefore, as the church is subject, the church is subjected to Christ. He said it is in that manner. When you find when church is not subject to Christ, when the church is not about Jesus Christ, the church is not fit again. The place is no more church. Let everything come under Christ. Can I hear an amen? amen. The same way. You will make your choice to bring yourself under. Hallelujah. Amen. This is very, 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 very important. Obedience. Obedi One day, Abraham went out and um, he went out and uh, he came with uh, some men unannounced. There was no telephone and all that. He was excited about these visitors. And the wife who was maybe relaxing in the house, he just told the woman to come and prepare full goat. Say with me, full goat. Full, full. It's not chicken. Praise God. Full animal. He said you should come and prepare it. You know, some women will be angry at that. You, you, you just go out and bring anybody in and you tell me to just enter kitchen and be cook. You be cooking. You are not even feeling. You are not even. Uh, you don't even care. You, you, are, you are not. You don't care my feeling. You have told me to cook. I'm cooking for you. You are still going to pack people from the mirror to, so that I can be, you have told me to restaurant attendance. <laughs> Praise God. <Yeah. laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Because I'm okay, 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 okay. I don't blame you. It is because I'm calling you Lord now. Okay, okay. Because I'm calling you Lord now. You are now standing the Lord to go and bring other men so that I'll be cooking for them, Abby. From today, you are not Lord. You are Lord. Praise God. They will change. They will think they are being taken advantage of. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But what did the woman... Because she was obedient. Look, the woman was ready. You see, he was not saying, calling him Lord from the mouth. Beloved, if you are not ready, there's no point starting. You need to force settle it and understand what you are getting into before you this woman was ready that this man not me and him hot cold anyhow it is me and this man this man he came he told him to do and she went to the kitchen and started preparing on the spot no complaint 
this modern days complain will happen. Genesis 18 verse 6. Let's just read that scripture. I'll go to the next one. Genesis 18 verse 6. You can read the whole thing. He said, And Abraham hasted into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal. Knead it and make cake upon the hearth. Did you hear please there? No. Answer me now. Did you hear a bird there? Does that not look like a command? You know why? Because he's Lord. Yes, yes. Hey. Mothers, are you hearing me? Yes, In our days, you will see women will say, What's the magic word? Tell me the magic word. Please, don't you don't tell me. You don't tell me, please. So I cannot tell you, please. Praise God. <laughs> Look, if you do things on the account, okay, if your husband does not tell you please, eh, is that a guarantee for you not to say please by biblical standard? How many times are, does God, who is your Lord, call, tell you please? When he's telling you something, does he say please worship me? Does God tell you like that one? That is because you don't know the meaning of Lord. Amen. Amen. You don't know if you know the meaning of Lord. And it doesn't mean to hear me, God's people. It is not degrading you. It looks as if it is degrading you, but it is not. Praise God. The Bible says, set a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die. It abided by itself. But when it falls to the ground and dies, bam, something powerful will come forth. Something will break forth for you. Amen. It's a mystery of God. That's how it works with God. The woman man just came and said, hey, he said, gye, gye. Amen. Hasting to the tent to where Sarah was and said to her, make ready. Ah, that's the command now. He, she, he didn't even first say, um, how are you, you? How is everything? Are you okay? Are you sleeping or waking up? What have you been doing since? Uh, why is your face like this one? He, he just entered and said this word. Make ready quickly. Don't waste time. Three measures of fine meal. Knead it. Prepare it. Arrange it. Amen? Amen. And make cakes upon the head. The Lord has spoken. Say with the Lord has spoken. I can't hear you. Say the Lord has spoken. It is either you have a Lord or not. If you have a boo, or you have a Lord, if it's a boo you have, and the boo agrees that you should be booing him and tell him, it, it's okay, no problem. It's a full package. Say the full package. Mm, it's a full package. And I don't have a problem with Boo. I just learned that one today. Boo and B. I don't have a problem with that one. But you can find some Boo. And you can find some Bay. And I hope I'm correct. For everybody who's listening to me, they are the one that taught me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. They taught me this morning. Let me tell everybody now. That Boo is for men. B is for women. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I am learning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> let me, let me. God have mercy. And I was telling somebody, man, I've hit the rock in that area. Yeah? Yes, me, I thought that uh, a man can be telling a woman, boo. Uh, yeah, is it boo? Boo. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. A baby boo. I didn't know that uh, I was hitting the rock. So I learned this morning. Hallelujah. Hey, thank God that they are not angry with me. Praise the Lord. I'm not know. Save me, I'm not know. Save me, I'm not know. And now I know. I will be done with sick again. Praise the Lord. Amen. What am I saying? It doesn't matter what you call the person. If somebody chooses that I want to call my own Lord, it's okay. My issue is that are you doing this thing that God said you should do? 
can that man meet a circumstance it's not every day thing and then he comes in and brings a surprise responsibility to you and you will still be okay that is sarah sarah was still okay with it she did not complain she was not, because she called him lord announcing to her world that i obey this man i am subjected under this man i am a woman under subjection a woman under authority of a man praise god Amen. and that speaks loud number two mother sarah was given to laughter <laughs> i say mother sarah was given to laughter Amen. hear me somebody in the name of jesus you will laugh Amen. oh hear me somebody you will laugh loud Amen. She was not a boring woman. She knows how to laugh. In spite of her challenges, she knows how to laugh. You know, so when, when they are going through things, laughter will be very far from them. If you, in fact, if you laugh around them, they will ask you, what is making you to laugh? It's, it's the matter that is happening, what is funny about it? I mean, go carry yourself in my house. Because they are, they are overwhelmed. Praise the Lord. For the kind of thing that Sarah went to, she could still laugh. I mean, laughter can still be found in her house. Hear me, somebody, that mother, I want to pray and decree that in the name of Jesus, sorrow will not reign in your home. Amen. Genesis 18, verse 12. The Bible says, Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wax old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, be old. You see where I call him Lord again? Praise God. My, my Lord is old. Mima, I am old. Praise God. Amen. Shall I have pleasure? The tea no goes with us. Oga, are you hearing me? The romance will not sweet us. I don't know how the thing will happen. Praise God. But it's a, it, it is in my place. They call it Ogiemi. Am I right? Yes, sir. Ogiemi. Ogiemi. That's what they call it. The, the thing is laughable. It doesn't mean doubt. It's just laughable. It's, it's laughable. Say, hey, 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 hey. Everybody laugh like that for me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> laugh like that again. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You are wonderful. According to my grandmother. Praise God. Yeah. It's a laughable thing. Hey. Yeah. That's a old woman like myself. My ogre. <laughs> my God, God does not know how to do Jankorova again. Is somebody here to say? Yeah. My, my ogre cannot ride horse again. Are you hearing me? So it's like <laughs> she, she she tried to play the thing. The you know, these days <laughs> when those days when uh, you know this kind of uh, video cassette that you put inside the big one nobody carries it now if you go to somebody like, you see they use this kind this kind of video again praise god maybe if you have the cd it's still okay praise the lord but if you see that old one actually there's one called jvc JVC is the best. if you go to your friends and you see jvc you, say, hey, you never see how jvc here yeah. it's a laughable thing that's how it was that's how it was. So she just laughed. In fact, laughter was in their home. Are you hearing me? Yes, laughter was in their home. In spite of the challenges they were going through, in spite of their desire, there was still laughter in that house. I'm speaking to mothers. Mothers, will you take responsibility to ensure that laughter does not die in your house? Will you take responsibility to make sure no matter the circumstance, no matter your need and your desire, that everything can go, but laughter must not go in your house? That you will bring laughter to every human being that is in your house. You must make sure that your husband laughs, not only you. Do you know that laughter is contagious? Yes, sir. Hey, by the way, Abraham also laughed too. Are you aware? It's not only Sarah that laughed. Praise God. Look at Genesis for me. I will come back to that. Genesis 21 and verse 6. Genesis 21 verse 6. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh. I want to prophesy to all the mothers in the house that in the name of Jesus, God will make you to laugh. Amen. 
I want to prophesy again if you can receive it that in the name of Jesus, God shall make you to laugh. Amen. Now some of you, you think that uh, when I say God will make you to laugh, you think that I'm only telling you that God will get you pregnant. You think so? No. I mean to say that God will do something in your life that will make you laugh. I told you before that Abraham laughed. How did I know? Genesis 17, number 17. Genesis 17, number 17. The Bible says, Then Abraham fell upon his face and did what? Look at it with me now. Genesis 17, verse 17. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Look at it for me. Genesis 17, 17. Let's read together. I want to go. Then Abraham fell upon his face and... Ah, you see there? I said, may laughter not end in your house. Hear me, God's people. When you are laughing and your husband is not laughing, hear me, you are mocking your husband. Are you hearing me? When you are laughing and your husband is not laughing for whatever reason, you are mocking your husband. And what you are going to see is not going to be nice. The Bible says, Come to work together, except they agree. When Sarah was laughing, because the Bible says it was Sarah, God gave laughter. Are you hearing me? God gave Sarah laughter and made his husband to be infected with the laughter. <laughs> Why will heaven not answer them? Heaven will answer you. Amen. Heaven will answer you. Amen. When you are happy and your husband is sad, sister, something is wrong. If you can go around, buy anything, spend money anyhow, go and enjoy and come back and you come husband, you come home and you meet your husband like this. And then the next thing you say, my boo, what go on? <laughs> it will look and say, my boo, everything is gone. <laughs> <laughs> then you will know that nothing is gone. <laughs> is somebody hear what I'm saying? You will just know. They don't have to say it. Nothing is what? Gwan. <laughs> Everything is scattered. Nothing is gone. <laughs> Come on, say I hear. Uh, yes, sir. It should concern you if the man is not balanced. Mm. You should make sure that the man is balanced. Otherwise, the blessing will not rest. It's your job to make sure that the man, that your husband is balanced. It's your job. So it means my job. It's your job. It's, I'm telling you, it's your job. It's your job. God created man. All what God gave the man is work. He will go to the work and come back. Go to work, come back. And then one day, he now created women. A woman came. You have seen somebody that will make you laugh. Somebody that will even discuss with you. Somebody that will make the work easier. And the person is just enjoying life. And the man is still walking and sweating. God said, God said, man, man, you, you, will, you will labor and sweat. That's what he told us. So, while we are laboring and sweating, you are wearing uh, what they call that expensive thing in your head. Peruvia hair. European. Peruvia. Peruvia. Yeah. Brazilian <laughs> hair. Brazilian hair. Peruvia hair. Brazilian hair. Peruvia. Peruvia. That's new, man. What does it? Then you are wearing Peruvian hair, Brazilian hair, plus human hair. Only you. Meanwhile, the man does not have hair. Are you hearing me? The man does not have hair. And you are okay. Praise God. The man does not have hair. You are having your normal hair here. You have Peruvian hair. You have Brazilian hair. You have human hair. Only you. Four in one. All the men in the house say, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> and then the ones you have in the house is not enough. You still want more of the Peruvian Peru Peruvia. Peruvia hair. You still want more. You want to Peruvia the entire house. Man, the spirit of Peruvia will cast you out. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can't kill us. We cannot kill ourselves now. Are you hearing me? You can't kill us with your Peruvian hair. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So Abraham also laughed. The wife laughed. God gave the wife laughter. And the man too laughed. You see, you people don't understand. The hold that Sarah had on Abraham. You don't understand. You, don't, you can't understand because it's a spiritual matter. He had a hold on that man. It was not witchcraft. It was Godcraft. It was not witchcraft. It was what? It was Godcraft. All these put, um, you know, thing inside the man to love me. That's nonsense, man. That's rubbish. There is, there is a medication that God has given you. That if you apply it in your house, the man will just, he will see, he will relax. Sit down. Sit down. See life here. Can I hear an amen? amen. Some women just, they just find pleasure in having. Just have. 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 When the man just say one thing that is not available, you know what they will tell the man? God will provide. <laughs> Even when they can provide, they say, God will provide. My husband, God will provide. God will provide. And they are going to buy another pair of hair. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to buy another pair of hair. But God will provide for the man. Pair of hair is having a fee. I pray for all the men. In the name of Jesus, pair of hair will not take over your house. Amen. See, please, ladies, mothers understand that we know that you are the queen the man is the king we know that you are the queen it does not make you equal with the king just understand yes you are you know throne is together the man is seated you are also seated he gives order you too can give some order but understand that even though you are beside the man you are under all go and ask vesti queen vesti you know vesti in bible uh -huh. He began to think that he and King, he and king was meet. Until King now told him that I am still the king. I put you there, I take you out. I have the power to do it. Jesus Christ said, I have power to put it down and I have power to take it again if I want. You don't understand what being a king is. That you are a queen does not make you a king. Am I talking? Yes, that you a queen does not make you a king. So stay in your place. So Sarah laughed. My encouragement to every one of you is to make sure you are a, a mother. A lady who is aspiring to become a mother. Get, get used to laugh, laughter. I'm not talking about jesting. You know what jesting is? Jesting, you know, somebody who just jests, you know, like a clown. No, I'm not saying you should go to go and be a clown in your house. <laughs> Praise God. I'm saying laughter, 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 divine laughter. May God give you that laughter. Amen. The Bible says it was God that gave that laughter. All the women and mothers, lift up your hands towards heaven. Pray, say, Father, Father. in the name of your Son Jesus Christ. Release my own laughter unto me. Today. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray one minute. Pray one minute. Release my own laughter unto me. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, let laughter never end in my life. Let laughter be, uh, let my home be the source of laughter. Let my life be the, the source of laughter for my home.